So if you're designing a content-heavy application such as a website, there are several reasons why you'd consider using Alfresco over a plain database. Uh, in this Alfresco quick take, I'll give you the top 10 reasons why. Number one, content performance. Uh, databases are great at storing text and numbers, but when it comes to more exotic types of, of information, they more or less store them or whatever, what is referred to as blobs or binary large objects. They don't really know a lot of how to inherently manage them. They can house them. Uh, but they don't really know how to fundamentally do anything with those objects. Uh, by contrast, Alfresco allows you to take that information, store it directly in its native format on the file system for maximum file performance. Uh, number two, content model flexibility. With a database, in order to store attributes or information about uh, a piece of information, uh, also known as metadata, you typically do that by predefining a number of columns as part of your uh, database structure. It's great initially, it's a little more difficult to modify that, however, over time. Alfresco allows you to evolve your content model using a notion that we refer to as aspects. You can apply different pieces of metadata to different objects in the system as you need to uh, to kind of better fit your needs and evolve how things are managed. Number three, granular content security. Uh, databases are great at defining down to a table level of access to pieces of information, not so much at individual row or document levels. Uh, Alfresco gives you a, a fine level of granularity in terms of defining access to different objects to really control who can see what, do what, and, and modify different types of information within the repository. Uh, number four, content collaboration and version control. Uh, databases don't really have any notion of how to deal with all the collaborative authoring aspects of building new pieces of information. It's one thing to be able to simply store a new document. It's quite another set of activities to actually maintain and, and accommodate all the processes that deliver new documents uh, within a repository. And Alfresco allows you to do that directly in that we enable certainly all the version control and security capabilities, but also all the collaborative functions around that through Alfresco Share, being able to set up collaborative spaces and invite team members and do everything around creating new versions of pieces of information. Number five, full text and metadata search. Uh, databases are certainly great at, again, being able to maintain all the textual pieces of information, the attributes or metadata. Some can also index into the actual content of documents themselves, but your mileage definitely varies. Different databases may or may not handle it, uh, depending on what you're utilizing. Alfresco, by contrast, allows you to accommodate uh, flexibility across both, whether it's a piece of information within the document, metadata that you've applied, or both. We allow you to index and search and retrieve on that information uh, individually. Number six, automated rules for content. So now that we have all these assets under control, how do we actually process <coughs> how they're maintained within the system? Rules are a great way in Alfresco that allow you through our user interface to define how you automate processing of documents, regardless of how they're added into the system. You can ensure that information is always maintained and processed consistently. Uh, number seven, out-of-the-box workflow, and a great example of what might, might tie actually into rules. Uh, databases have no inherent concept of, uh, just like with collaboration, being able to do any type of workflow capabilities. Uh, you'd either have to build that yourself or incorporate some other third-party workflow engine. Uh, Alfresco actually has included as part of its repository complete workflow functionality so that you can control revisions as you delegate off and allow people to maintain assets individually. You can delegate off and, and still control how they're doing things and audit and report on information that's occurring within our repository. Uh, number eight, notifications. Being able to uh, proactively subscribe to and notify individuals on a team of changes, revisions to a document as new documents are added into a particular collaborative space. Alfresco allows you to do that directly. If you were to do this building off of a database, again, just like with workflow, you'd have to build that on your own. Databases really have no inherent concept of that either. Uh, number nine, native support for content standards for authoring. And this is probably from a business user's perspective the most important differentiator for Alfresco. The fact that you allow them to continue to contributing objects into the repository without changing the way that they're working today. Uh, we enable them to continue using Word by uh, providing direct support off the file system through uh, protocols such as CIFS, allow them to contribute information through email, uh, directly in their email client using IMAP as a standard. Uh, additionally, through other types of tools, might be able to uh, add objects through WebDev or FTP or even through a SharePoint protocol that allows your users in a native Office installation to take advantage of all the collaborative features that exist within the Microsoft Office suite. And finally, number 10, CMS, CMS or CMIS, is the right tool for content. I definitely don't re recreate the wheel here. 
Uh, databases do allow you to query information through SQL, and again, that's great for text and number-based information. Not really as inherently aware of what to do with uh, different types of documents and some of the content management features that might be required. Con uh, CMIS, or Content Management Interoperability Services, does include as part of its definition uh, a content management specific query language. It's actually based on SQL 92, but it's aware of all the document management specific functions that might need to be executed against different pieces of information. And it's definitely a lot more the right tool for that type of a job and uh, a bit more effective than having to do something unnatural with a standard that, that's not necessarily the right fit with just standard SQL. So those are the top 10 reasons why. Uh, thanks for joining me. And if you have any additional questions, you can contact me directly at scott.davis at alfresco.com.